Good day and welcome to Solace Natural Living. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about why I love turkey crawl beans. Um, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I already finished, it, finished harvesting the Chinese light green long beans. And you know I'm getting ready to prepare them um, to be frozen but I wanted to say why I would choose the turkey crawl beans over the Chinese light green long beans. Okay, so what I really love about the turkey crawl beans is one, they can be eaten in any stage. Um, right now they're a little bit more stringy so you would have to string them if you were to eat them. Um, but the ones that are on this vine currently, uh, we are leaving on the vine to dry and going to either one, save the seeds, or we will be um, using them like a pinto bean. See, here's one that's already dry. And so we'll just leave this on the vine until it's ready, um, ready to harvest. But that's one reason why I absolutely love these beans. The other thing is, is that I can harvest these beans in their nice tender stage, which I don't have any, um, most of them are like really big, um, you know, the size of my hand. Um, let's see, I don't see any small ones at the moment, but at a, a nice tender stage, you can eat them green, just like that. Um, my favorite way to cook them is to fry them in butter. Um, that is my absolute favorite way to prepare the, um, the turkey crawl beans. I mean, they're absolutely delicious that way. But um, these vines are quite prolific. Um, there's tons of beans just, I mean, all over the vine. Absolutely love it. Um, let's see. Oh, here's some small ones. See, I like, um, I like them when they're about this size. Not too big because the beans aren't you know as well developed so this is about the stage that I will pick them and then fry them um, and of course you know um, when they get the size of my hand they're a little bit big for that okay so that's one reason why I love turkey crawl beans um, they are actually an heirloom bean that are native to the Appalachian Mountains which is pretty cool because well we live in the Appalachian Mountains <laughs> so um, that's one reason why I love the turkey crawl beans now um, coming over to the Chinese light green long beans I do like these beans but once they get like really big they're not really they really don't taste very good and so these that are really big I just left them on the vine and hopefully I can save some of the seeds from them um, the other thing that I really like, I do like about the Chinese long green beans is that they're a great um, conversation starter because, well, <laughs> they're really long. Um, like I can't go through the archway without hitting my head on them. Um, and they've become quite prolific, um, especially with the heat of the summer, which is one of the reasons that we chose to get these beans. Um, when I do go to harvest them, I like them smaller where the beans aren't quite as developed. So like this one, even though it's still pretty tough, um, like firm, um, it is just really too long or um, the beans inside of it are too developed. So I do like them as, as a smaller size and I'll do the same thing. I will just, um, you know, break them up into pieces about maybe about the size of my finger you know the length of my finger and then I'll fry it up in butter um, I'm not a huge fan of boiling <laughs> um, but if you like to boil beans you know that you can do that um, I just prefer to fry them in butter because well everything's good fried in butter uh, <laughs> so to harvest these I found that it's really easy to just take it and then you'll twist it and then tug and um, they come off the vine pretty easily. Um, one thing that I do not like about the Chinese light green long bean is the fact that they do not have a very good long um, kind of shelf life, um, for lack of better words. Um, meaning that I can harvest the Chinese light green long beans 
and the turkey crawl beans at the same time. I can rinse them in water and leave them on the counter and the light green long beans will go bad before the Chinese, the um, turkey crawl beans will go bad. Like um, these I can only leave on the counter for maybe two days and they might still be good but the turkey crawl beans I can actually leave out on the counter for upwards of a week before they actually start to go bad so that's one reason why I also prefer the turkey crawl beans versus the light or the Chinese light green long beans <laughs> that's a mouthful so I don't know if we will plant these again next year um, they are quite pretty and I love the flowers on them and the hummingbirds love the vines but I think think that will mainly grow the turkey crawl beans just because they grow really well here their storage is really good I can use them as a pinto bean or cook them up like pinto beans once they're dried on the vine um, obviously I have not um, allowed the Chinese long green beans to dry on the vine long enough so I don't know if they will cook up like a pinto bean we'll see um, but I am saving the seeds for them so anyway, um, I will end this video. Uh, I hope that helped in making a decision on whether to get the Chinese long green, li Chinese light green long beans <laughs> or the turkey crawl. Uh, thanks for joining me today. God bless.